This one I raised. We're here in Brownington and we're going to spend the afternoon with Bruce Gagne. He's been selling horses here at Gagne Farm for the past 30 years. I think it's a way of life that you're used to. And I say the outside of a horse is good for the inside of a man. You take a horse and you go for a ride or you hitch a pair and you drive them, it's just good for your mind. And I think that's one reason people right now are just into this. They, they're trail riding and they're, they get with their friends and they go ride. And it's a good time for, to be doing this. This pandemic has been devastating the economy. Businesses are struggling. But here at Ganya Farm, business is booming. The horses are an all-time high. Everybody wants them. Everybody's trail riding and wanting to get back to doing things at home because they can't travel as much and do things. So it's made the market extremely high and horses hard to find. Everybody is looking for stuff to do outdoors. Horses and four wheelers and side by sides, they all seem to be big right now. We are booming right now. We can't keep horses long enough. And we run a horse farm where we do boarding and lessons, training, a lot of trail rides, and we sell some horses. Do you like just riding around your land? Yeah, except in October. <laughs> we have a lot of people come from the city. We had people here yesterday from New Jersey that had never seen a place like this before, you know? People will come six to seven hours to see us. We get a lot towards Boston, uh, Connecticut, Massachusetts. Hello, who are you? That's Pistol Pete. Pistol, Pistol Pete. Yeah, there's no cell service here, so when they come here, they're pretty much on their own. They're always in awe. They just, they absolutely love it. They are patting that horse, and they're looking at this horse, and they see the ponies. Everybody loves the ponies. Come here. Come here. This is the pair I, I pulled last year. We pulled them 11 times and won nine out of 11 contests with them. So. We do a lot of pulling, horse pulling, pony pulling. Now I'm into mini pulling. That uh, seems to be the newest thing in the last few years. We meet a lot of people. Some people are taking the COVID very serious. Others are pretty nonchalant about it. We're kind of not really super scared of it. We're just being careful. We had a summer camp going on, but we had to cancel just because with all the restrictions, it just didn't make it uh, feasible. And we also do cowboy weekends. We did do that on Father's Day weekend. We have a, a big gathering. We have a little campground up back, rough camping. They'll come in sometimes even as early on a Wednesday for the weekend. Usually people that come here turn into friends, so they come and stay and hang out. And I was brought up with horses. My dad, just over the hill, three miles where my dad lived, and we always had horses, and we always competed in horse shows, and horse pullings. When I got bigger, I wanted to be a farmer, so we milked cows for a while, and 30 years ago, we decided we wanted to be in a horse business, so never got very far away from home, but traveled all over the United States. The kids growing up with them gives them responsibility. They take care of their animals. They, they learn to have some patience with them. And... I love it. It's my dream job. <laughs> I have known Bruce my whole life. Actually, my two personal horses I bought from Bruce. I'm here on my days off, too. <laughs> Jake, he's our farrier. He's here at least once a week. He's pulling the shoes off this horse, trimming his feet, and putting new shoes back on, shortening his toes a little bit. So that's a nice new Brand shoe. New. Yep. We named him Impulse. <laughs> that's a good name for him. We do like to keep something like Impulse around. Impulse is 10,000. Our horses this year are selling from 25 to 5,000. Our main business is backyard family horses. So we have people come from all over. When they come, we have a six wheeler. We'll take them around, we show them all the horses. They pick the ones they like. We try to steer them in the right direction. We'll spend whatever time it takes with somebody to make sure that they try to find the right horse the first time. Everybody likes pretty, you know, so we always try to buy pretty, because everybody likes pretty. But sometimes the ones that are a little plainer are the better horse. I have my personal saddle horse. I have an old pair of that are 28 years old I've kept since they're babies just because I like them. Did real good service for me, and uh, they deserve a home to the end of their life here.
Hope you all can get outside and enjoy beautiful outdoor rural Vermont. We will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Take care, everybody. Do you want to come back to Burlington with me, Cohen? Move into my little teeny house. <laughs> I'll have to build a barn for you, but it'll happen eventually. <laughs> they had it in front of a bar. It had been in front of a bar for years, and I saw it, and I just wanted it, so I bought it. And I thought it was pretty, pretty neat to have around. <laughs>